As of 2023, the U.S. was the world's number one oil producer. This is quite impressive. On average, the country extracts around 13 million barrels a day. Russia and Saudi Arabia are in second and third place in the rankings. Their figures are around 10 million barrels a day. Despite this, the USA is in second place among the key oil importers. That is, they actively buy it. Therefore, the USA has now become the biggest oil consumer in the world. In 2019, for example, the country consumed about 21 million barrels a day. That's 25% of the total global. But what if I told you that at the same time, the USA sells a huge amount of oil that it extracts on its own land? Moreover, the USA is among the top four largest oil exporters, meaning they sell a lot of crude oil. And this already seems strange. Why sell oil if you don't have enough and end up having to buy it later? We will learn more about this in our episode today. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And let's get started. In 2022, when oil and gas prices in the US began to soar, many people saw a straightforward and apparently obvious solution to the issue. The US has roughly 38.2 billion barrels of known oil reserves underground that remain untapped almost 14 million acres on land and over 9.1 million acres at sea are currently leased but not used for oil extraction. So why not just extract all that oil? Prices would go down right away and everyone would be thrilled. However, even though this thought might seem really smart, many experts back then said it was just a fantasy. Even if the US were to extract all its oil, the price of fuel wouldn't change at all. But why? I'll explain. A few years back in 2020, the US was producing 18.4 million barrels of oil per day and consuming 18.12 million barrels. But this year it imported oil too. While oil is a major commodity traded globally, nearly no one uses it directly. Oil needs to be processed into fuels, materials, and products that we rely on every day. Just a barrel of oil isn't much use to anyone. However, its physical characteristics, like where the oil is extracted, where the refineries or production facilities are located, or where the highest consumer demand is, affect its usefulness and therefore its value. Oil also comes in different types. Types of oil differ in density, sulfur content, viscosity, presence of impurities, and all that sort of thing. You can roughly divide oil into light and heavy types. And depending on what exactly you want to produce, you need a certain type of oil with specific characteristics. Based on these characteristics, people decide what to do with the oil they've extracted. Differences in oil chemistry mean that you can't purify all oil the same way. The purifying processes look different depending on the type. It just so happens that most of the infrastructure for oil extraction, as well as refining and transporting fuel, is located in the regions in the middle of the continent and along the Gulf of Mexico coast. By the way, this is the reason why the five states where fuel prices are the lowest are the same ones where most of the infrastructure is located. These are Mississippi, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Alabama, and of course Texas. In 1862, the first oil pipeline was built. Two wooden planks joined in the shape of a V. This pipeline carried oil about a thousand feet using simple gravity. However, by 1863, an actual iron pipeline was laid in Pennsylvania, stretching 2.5 miles and equipped with pumps. Even today, many states with high demand for motor fuel don't have such modern infrastructure. Instead, they get fuel through shipping, railroads, and trucks. In 2014, there were almost 160,000 miles of interstate pipelines in the United States, and still, they don't reach everywhere. Although the country has reserves of light oil, it needs heavy oil. Turning heavy oil into high quality products needs more advanced molecular processing. That's why heavy oil is generally valued lower than light oil. It costs a lot to make it useful. Many American oil refineries are generally set up to process heavy crude oil with a cost that exceeds billions of dollars. That's why it turns out that buying someone else's oil is just more profitable than using your own. It seems strange, but right now, by selling their own oil and buying and then refining someone else's, the U.S. makes more money than with any other strategy. Imported oil, even after subtracting transport expenses, is often less expensive than oil extracted domestically. 
simply because in the USA oil comes out of the ground in the wrong places. So there's just no infrastructure to get the oil to the refineries. And without it, all the extraction for local use becomes pointless. Should the United States continue its oil import strategy? Or would it be more beneficial to extract oil from domestic sources? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing videos. See you later.